Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product. As you can see, this is Kinkoni T128M smart controller. You can see uh, it's very big, but also we can call it T version, just the tiny version because it has so much uh, digital input and digital output. Uh, this board also made by ESP32 S3, but this time you can see the output that have 128 channel and the digital input also have 128 channel so this is very powerful and so much gpio for this one board and this size we have let it become smaller uh, than a 128 old version so this this board also support insta on the ding wheel but the size will be smaller than before so in this video i will show you this hardware details and the software solution because this also can support by ESP Home for Home Assistant and support KCS V3 firmware and support Twia application and support Arduino source code and also can write your ESP IDF development tool for this board okay let's look at the hardware first okay let's look at this board uh, this is T version T128M board we can compare with the older version. So you can see this is older version, that is the A128 board. Uh, so you can see this is older one, but they have different size. So you can see we can let the size become smaller. And you can see uh, this also will be smaller than before. But the most important, I think, we have designed this aluminum shoe for the cover. And this one, the old version, uh, without cover. So let's look at this new version uh, in details. Okay, let's look at. Uh, you can see uh, this is output. Uh, this is output channel. You can see uh, the output. Every output you can see the DC connected with the power supply. Every eight channel will have a common DC for power supply. And this red LED indicate is for the output. Uh, you can see output because total have 128 channel output output O at here uh, used by MOSFET output and the reset and the download button at here and the internet part and you can see USB-C cable for download firmware and this is digital import part you can see the digital import used for dry contact signal and the board because the power supply use 12 volt or 24 volt so this digital input also can use by 12 volt or 24 volt it according to your power supply so you can see so much uh, digital input and this you can see as for it five interface and free gpio and analog input for four channel and this, this is the power so you can see the uh, this is uh, green is power led and you can see uh, this is the uh, size install on the thing real support okay we can open this cover and look at what is inside of this box so we can just uh, remove this screw and the first we can uh, look at the size uh, look at the size firstly you can see uh, this is the size just look at uh, this one you can see uh, this size this is size and I change the unit for inch let's look at uh, what's the inch size and let's look at uh, this one you can see the size uh, this is the size and this inch unit okay and this one you can see this one and uh, switch the unit okay now i will remove this cover this aluminum cover you can see i remove this cover and you can see uh, this have our top pc board for this LED indicate this is 128 channel LED indicate inside of this box and this one you can see the esp32 and the esp32 s3 and the n16 r8 uh, also have a big memory size and a big PS RAM and uh, the button you can see that have many external chip 
I square the extender chip on the part of the PCB. Okay, I will recover. Just I have already downloaded the KCS firmware, so I just will use this uh, power supply and use this DC12 for demo. Show you how to work with a different software solution. And I have already downloaded KCS firmware, so if you first time use, you need to connect with this USB-C cable to your computer to download the firmware. And I will use this Ethernet, connect with the Ethernet cable at here, and the power on, just power on. You can see the green LED is on. Okay, let's look at the software in compute. Now let's back to my compute. I will show you the software solution. And you can see, this is the web page of T128MBARD. Uh, you can see, uh, every channel will have MOSFET max is 4 ampere for every uh, terminal output. And you can see, this is in details of different interface. And uh, you can see, ESP32 IO pin define, ESP home, uh, YAML file, and Arduino source code, and the KCS V3 online guide. You can download from our web page, and in our phone, you can see this have a T128M board. You can just click, so you can download. You can see I will pin define Home Assistant YAML file and Arduino source code, and also you can download the KCS V3 firmware. You can see at here, and the newest one you can just use the first topic. You can see uh, this is the first topic, and this will T. 1 to 8 M board, you can download it and download it to your uh, USB C cable to your board. And after download, you can use this IP address in login in your web browser. You can see this board name and this firmware version and the different information, so Ethernet IP address at here. And you can see this import. Uh, exchange a uh, reverse level and the output you can see define every output hold down or delay mode or out of time or interlock mode at here and you can see the sensor also you can connect with a different sensor with a different interface uh, this is a GPL sensor and this is IS485 sensor and this is IS2C sensor and this monitor you can see this monitor shows the different protocol which is enable which is disable I have connected with the Kinkoni cloud server and uh, connect with the home assistant by MQTT and Tuya uh, mobile phone application at the same time. So these three uh, client and server is connected and you can see analog input and the sensor if you have added you will list at here. The digital input you can see 128 channel and the digital output you can see also have 128. Uh, you can see I click it's a channel one. And you can see uh, this channel one is on, and the channel two, channel three. You can see I can click all on. So you can see this is very beautiful. <laughs> Just uh, so much. You can see the feedback state and the R off. You can see at here, R off. So R is off. And you can see the FDD command. You can also define your FDDT for automation. Uh, if condition and then command at here, you can see by the different uh, if condition and for different actions at here. So you just uh, uh, click and choose and try at here, try at here. So it's very easy. And in the network, you can see you can set the Wi Fi and the Ethernet and the GSM if you have added Kinkoni G1 for the module. So you can use a short message and use your voice call for the uh, board and the Next is the protocol, you can see the generate, you can see I have already enabled Kinkoni Cloud Server, I have enabled, so I can use the web, web browser, you can see I can use web browser in compute, any compute or your mobile phone, this is uh, 128 channel, you can see I can click, turn on one, so you can see uh, this channel one is on, channel two, and the channel three, and you can see this time the three LD is on, output is on, so this is by King Kong Cloud Server, and you can see uh, this have a digital input for remote monitor sensor state. You can see the input one, 
If I shut the input one, and by this two terminal, and you can see, uh, this is turn green, and I remove it, that is recover. So this use by King Kuni Cloud Server for monitor sensor state and the remote country output. Okay, and this is Home Assistant uh, MQTT Auto Discovery. So you just enable this one and enable this one and import your device name and the MQTT broke IP address and part and the username and the password. So this will let the, this part integrate to Home Assistant automatically without any config code. So you can see in Home Assistant, you can see this setting and the device and the device. So you will find this Kinkone AT 128 bar M have added to the Home Assistant. You can see this three also is channel, uh, a three switch is on. And you can see uh, there are so much switch and analog input and digital input. And you can see uh, this have so much you can use in Home Assistant. So this is a Home Assistant. And this is MQTT connect to your own cloud server and enable HTTP command, uh, TCP server, TCP client, UDP server, UDP client, and IS485 interface for mode bus protocol and for King Kong HA mode, IS485 switch mode. Okay, and you can see, we can look at the Tuya firstly, and this board also support used in Tuya mobile phone application. So you can just use the Tuya license and import it here so that you can use your Tuya mobile phone where we can look at, uh, we can look at the Home Assistant and the Tuya and the King Kong cloud server. And uh, this uh, KCS monitor will work at the same time. So we can look at this Tuya mobile phone. And you can see this is the Tuya Smart Life and the Tuya App Smart. So this both application will be support and I click this one and you can see I have already added the Kinkone T128 board so I just click and you can see uh, this three channel also is on so this time you can see I can press off you can see off and you can see off and you can see off so you can see channel 4 and channel 5 at here so this is a Tuya mobile phone application uh, this work by Wi-Fi but also I can disable the Wi-Fi <laughs> You can see I can use the 5G, uh, 5G, you can see I can turn on the next and the next and the next. So this also can work uh, by the SIM card. So I can put it here. And let's look at my home assistant. You can see I can turn off channel 4. You can see the channel 4 is off and this channel 4 is off and the KCS channel 4 is off and the Tuya channel 4 is off. So every different software will update the state at the same time. So I can close, 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 and turn off. So this mobile phone uh, in Tuya is all off, and this is all off, and this is all off, okay? So the next look at the protocol, you can see the customer size protocol that used for if did command, you can define uh, if and then customer size protocol, you can see by different uh, protocol and this Apple HomeKit. You can also define the input and the output and the DAC and the ADC and the sensor, which have let this hardware resource use in Apple HomeKit automatically. So you just enable and write the name at here. It's very easy. Also support of the log sound system mini server uh, by integrate uh, by UDP command. So that will be send, send the command and uh, update the state to log sound mini server by this by this protocol. Okay, the next is the system. And the system also you can set the time rule and the sound different double click and a single click for if this time delay time you can set by yourself and the username and the password and the restart the factory setting and the restart the power restart the board. So this is KCS v3 and we will always continue update the v3 version firmware and uh, let it stable and let it have many more powerful functions. Okay, thanks for watching.